The Revoice Conference. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, though. The Revoice Conference is defined as the conference that supports, encourages, and empowers gay, lesbian, same-sex attracted, and other LGBT Christians so that they can flourish while observing the historic Christian doctrine of marriage and sexuality. The founder of the conference, Nate Collins, told Christianity Today that, in quotes, we all believe that the Bible teaches a traditional, historic understanding of sexuality in marriage, and so we are not attempting in any way to redefine any of those doctrines. We're trying to live within the bounds of historic Christian teaching about sexuality and gender, but we find difficulty doing that for a lot of reasons. Albert Moeller, president of the Southern Baptist Theological Seminary, said that, in quotes, it is encouraging that they state their intention to hold to a biblical understanding of sexual behavior and to define the only appropriate expression of sexual behavior to be marriage as the union of a man and a woman. But that said, it appears that they're trying to create a halfway house between Mm. cultural norms and biblical morality that is inherently unstable. There is no way that faithful Christians can celebrate an unbiblical sexual orientation and claim to be faithful to scripture. Right. The moment you begin identifying as an LGBTQ plus Christian, you've created an unstable identity. Humans have a pattern of sexual attraction, but for Christians, our ultimate identity must be in Christ. Yes. Julian, if our identity is to be found in Jesus Christ, not in our temptations, what should we make of this particular type of conference and viewpoint? My thing initially, as you read it on the surface, seems like, okay, we understand that a certain demographic of Christians, it's difficult to know how to manage because there's so much identity found in I'm gay, Mm -hmm. I'm bi, Mm -hmm. I'm trans. This is who I am. That is contrary to the way the Bible describes we are. With that being said, we understand that it's, it's a tough scenario to deal with. So we need to approach it with compassion, but with truth that pierces, Julian. Whether or not people see this as offensive, we're trying to change lives with the word of God. So how do you interpret a conference like this, people's viewpoints toward this, and the identities at which they find themselves in versus finding your identity in Christ? Well, I don't find my identity in I'm a heterosexual. My sexual orientation is not my identity. And I don't think that that's necessarily a good way to go about your life, identifying yourself by something such as sexual orientation. That's first and foremost. Mm -hmm. Second, last week we were just talking about this. When it comes to the word, you can't just be a reader, you got to be a doer. If you're going to accept this lifestyle, you have to take it as it is. You can't import your own personal beliefs and other, facts, like, like it says facts, right here, facts. social norms into it. You have to take it and make it change you instead of you changing mm. it. That's that's what I would say to people who struggle with this, because ultimately it is one of those things that are listed as sin. So you wow. can't identify as it. You have to try to overcome it. And you can. There mm. are many a testimonies of people who have overcome this obstacle in life. Jackie Hill Perry, one of them. Yes. Go look at her testimony. She identified as what she felt led to believe she was attracted to. Mm -hmm. And then God, Christ changed her viewpoint and her life. She's married with kids. It's incredible. So go check that out. Her testimony wasn't simple either. Like she was very much indulging. She was very much, her her appearance was different. Absolutely. Was was masculine, everything. She changed herself around totally. There's books on this topic. There's videos. This is not an easy situation. I'm not trying to make this seem like it is just a cut and dry. It's a lifelong battle. Yes. But your identity is in Christ, not in your sexuality. That's Um, right. And that's the most important thing to consider and Mm -hmm. know and act upon.